Hello, we are your hosts. I am Sean Calhoun, and this is my lovely wife, Christina Calhoun. And today we're going to be answering the question for you of how do I get leads? How do I get real estate leads? This is kind of like almost the number one question that we're getting. And so we're going to answer that for you. But before we do it, how can people get in touch with us, Christina? You can direct message us here on Facebook. It's Sean Christina Calhoun. And we also have a website, prettyhm.com. Yep. You can contact us through there as well. All right. And we want to thank you all for who, I mean, we've been getting a lot of messages. So thank you. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it with somebody else. Okay. All right. So let's get right into this today. How do I get leads? Right. We all actually, we probably, you probably had a lot of business. Like honestly, with COVID, everything got paused. And then it's like they hit the play button, like hit fast forward or whatever. Right. So it's like we had two seasons in one. Yeah. We had, so, you know, we no doubt you're probably moving pretty fast and you have a lot of business. So, you know, you might be like, well, I have leads. However, you know, you want a constant business. You know, you, you want your business to have consistency. And if you don't consistently work on getting leads, you'll you'll have that cycle of, man, I'm rich. I, I'm doing all of this business. I'm serving so many people. And then you'll, you'll serve them all. And then it's like, uh, I'm poor, right? I'm, <laughs> right? Like, I, I, I need business help. I need leads. Um, but if you do a few things, um, there are some things that you can do to give yourself consistent income. And that's what we want for you if you're in the real estate business. So we're going to help you do that. And this is something that, oh my goodness, we had to, we had to pay a lot <laughs> of money to get training and coaching and things, you know, just to learn uh, so many of these techniques and things. And we want to make sure that we're, we're delivering, you know, so much value to you so that you can have success in your business and we're, we're we've been able to uh, help others to other agents to, to do this too and one other reason why it's so good to have this flow of leads is because unfortunately things don't always work out that's true deals can fall apart yeah but if you are working with multiple clients when one closes or one doesn't close right you still have business Right, it's not the end of the world. You yeah, know? you're not like, man, I can't pay my bills. Yeah. So, and we don't want you to be that way. All right, so we know why. What do we do? So, I'm gonna we're gonna break this up into four basic groups. Okay, four basic groups. The first group is we're gonna talk about um, free leads. Now we're saying free, mm -hmm. but it's not really free. It costs you your time. So it's going to depend on where you're at in your business. You might have more time or you might have more money. So the next one that we're going to talk about is paid leads. And these are basically leads you're paying for. And when we say leads, I just want to qualify that. Uh, my view, our view of leads is a person who kind of raises their hand and says, I'm interested in, in real estate. Okay. Uh, I want to, you know, possibly buy or sell. And that's another thing. Also, today we're talking about people who just want to buy or sell residential real estate. There are plenty of other types of leads, uh, you know, tenants, right? That has to do with real estate. Leases, um, yeah. Right, leases, mm -hmm. things like that. We're not talking about any of that today. Commercial, you know, we're not, we're not talking about any of that today. We're just talking about these uh four things so again those four things are paid free paid buyers sellers so that's our four okay that we're going to get into so christina um let's kind of roll out just a little bit of a list of some of the free things that people can do and then we're gonna we're gonna break it down a little bit okay so some of the free avenues you have is you can get leads from your own Facebook page by doing posts. Uh, you can also get free leads from Craigslist because mm -hmm. you can put real estate on Craigslist and get people that way. 
an mm-hmm. excellent Trek source. Killers too. Just oh kidding, yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one's free but cautionary. <laughs> we do it on every listing. I'm letting you know that. Okay. We've gotten great ones from there. Yes. Yes, you still have to filter people and, you know, qualify yeah. them and <laughs> work safely. <laughs> right. Uh, another one of the best and biggest sources of free leads is your sphere of influence. Yep. People that you know, mm-hmm. friends, family. Know, like, and trust you. These are people who, if we put them in a the category, these are people who you have met yes. already before. Yes. All right. And then... Lastly, past client referrals. So you don't know them, but mm-hmm. you worked with someone that they know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So those mm-hmm. are excellent free sources of leads. That's right. And just to add on to that one, your actual past clients yes. as well. So your past clients themselves, there's you know, real estate has a cycle. And if you don't know, the cycle is four to six years. Uh, people move. I mean, obviously that's an average. It yeah. can be less than that uh, or, or longer, you mm-hmm. know, but every four to six years, there's a cycle. So if you're staying in, you know, touch with those people, then not only can you get what you're seeing say the referrals from them as well. Repeat business. Yeah. And and just to touch on that too, uh, there's a statistic. It's, it's staggering. 86% of people say, I would use my uh, real estate agents that helped me to, to, to buy this house, I would use them to sell them, but they don't. And the reason why is because they, they don't have the number and they haven't stayed in touch with them. So we'll talk about how you get these as well. Cause we're talking about where, you know, first off, who are the leads, but just remember uh, that as well. So those are, you know, some of the, the free sources, and there are, are many, many more, but those are some of the top free sources that's going to bring in, I mean, that's going to bring in some quality leads, okay? Uh, now, so that's free. What about paid? Okay, so that's, what, what are some paid sources of, of, of uh, leads? We have um, real estate search platforms, also mm-hmm. known as Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, Redfin, and Homes.com, yes. and Move in Michigan. I mean, there are so many different platforms. All of these platforms, they're, they're eyeballs. People are searching. They're on their phones, most of them, and they're looking at homes, and they're asking for information. That's a great paid source. Uh, yes and then you also have uh, expired homes and for sale by owners okay what does that mean expired homes just for those who don't know that means somebody who had their house listed and it didn't sell so the contract expired okay and then uh, you said for sale by owner Mm -hmm. All right, Mm -hmm. great yep so for sale by owner this is something interesting to note with for sale by owners. A lot of the times we prejudge people, as, as especially as a real estate industry. industry. I've done it myself. Um, you know, I've called someone who had a home for sale and they said, uh, oh no, I'm, I'm selling it myself and blah, 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 and they're giving their reason. However, that person, you, and, and this is something that I noticed and then this is, this is how I learned. Then I saw that same house listed. Mm. And I'm like, wait a minute. They said they were selling it themselves. Most people who are selling it themselves, they have a time limit. They're going to say, hey, look, I'm going to try to sell this house for a month. I'm going to try to sell this house for two months. I'm going to try to sell this house for three months. If I can't sell it myself, fine. Then I'll get an agent. Okay? That's what happens with a lot of people because they think it's so easy. I, I know people who, who, who think that, like, we can get it sold in a short period of time, quite often, because it's what we do for a living, it's our profession. You but know? why would you say that's a paid lead? Uh, a for sale by owner? Mm-hmm. Why is it paid? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a great question. Because you can go, you can get that information for free, like, you can search through um, 
Zillow or TrueNanny or, or go to ForSaleByOwner.com. You can get that information for free. However, it's it's everywhere. If if I want to list every day, I buy it. So I we buy a list of for sale by owners. There's a program and it just it just puts it in my database and we can just cruise through. So that's um that's the reason why you can get the information for free, but it we have found that it's better. It's it saves so much time. Just buy it. You know, when you get there, I mean, if you're starting out, just get it for free. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I got it for free until I can afford to, to buy or, or I wanted to buy. I realized I'm wasting my time <laughs> doing it this other way. So, yeah, great question. And then finally, the last source of paid leads would come from circle marketing. Mm, circle marketing. So. Uh, that is not where you chase your tail like a dog. Circle marketing is the house. Okay, let's just get a quick illustration. Let's see if you, you've ever noticed this. And if you haven't, try to notice this. Okay, the next time you go dine at a restaurant, if you watch when one group of people gets up to leave the restaurant, you'll notice other people will start getting up. Or even with the group that you're with. If you're with a group and you're ready to go, you get up, everybody starts to get up. Or even I've noticed with ladies sometimes, you know, one will go to the bathroom and then the other one, they have to go, but now they're, they'll get up and go now too. Okay. There's just a, a something with humans that we tend to do things at the same time. And it's the same with real estate. If you notice, when one house, you'll see a sign pop up in the lawn that a home is for sale. Other people will say, hey, I was thinking about selling. I just saw Gary put his house up on the market for sale. Oh, it's time for us to sell too. So it might be a month later or a little bit later, but they'll put their house up on the market for sale also. It's human nature. So if you see a home go up on the market, you can circle the 100 houses around that home and you might be able to easily pick up a seller. All right? Yeah. That's circle market. That's how you get some seller leads right there. And you're paying for whatever you're sending out. You're paying for those... Uh mailers or marketing. posted yeah. yeah whatever marketing material you are printing you Post gotta pay cards. for that yep so in that sense it is paid mm -hmm. and it's a good idea to do the same thing if you have a listing as well yeah you it's know? a great idea yeah it works i mean we find ourselves sitting at people's dining room table and they have a postcard because yep. they got you know that was what happened so mm -hmm. circle marketing is is that's what that is and those are for people that don't know you. Yeah. Yep. You, you got to pay for the ones that don't know you. That's right. That's <laughs> that's a good point. So again, we're talking about people who we've met and we haven't met. Now, I'm going to go back just a little bit to what Christina had mentioned earlier about, you know, and we breezed through it because we wanted to kind of give you basically things that are working with buyers and sellers. But I want to just go back. There are a lot of things happening right now, like transitioning in the real estate um, space. And if you don't do these things right now, um, you may not be around uh, in the future. And that's just the reality of it. I mean, if we don't do it, it's, we, we have to really deepen our relationships, deepen our relationships. I'll give you a quick example. Um, there's a neighbor of ours and uh, they were actually leasing their home. I didn't know that. They were leasing their home. Um, we were talking and you know, one day he said, hey, I'm thinking about buying a home. Wow, okay. I didn't know he didn't own it. They, they took excellent care of the home, very well maintained. Uh, so we talked a little bit and then I didn't put it in my database. I didn't even have, I didn't, I, I didn't follow up. I didn't do any follow up. Well, 
They went online. They saw a house. They clicked for more information. Another agent gave them more information. They got pre-approved. They bought a house. Yeah. Why? Because I didn't have that. I wasn't following up. I didn't have a deep relationship with them. And this is the way that... Um, because they didn't know we were na- we were neighbors and that we were realtors. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, he asked me information mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. So that was on me for not following up, uh, not putting them in my database. Uh, and basically, my database reminds me to follow up with people. Okay. Um, so... And they were early on. Yes. From the outward appearance, it could look like... They're just now starting to think about buying a house. Right. But, so your sphere of influence, it, I want you to know what's happening. Now, there's another thing. Now, that's that's with buyers, okay? So we want you to know what's going on, why you need to keep up with your sphere of influence, people who you know, who know, like, and trust you with, with that. Now, with sellers, why? Well, there are a lot of programs um, one in particular is iBuyer, and there are probably about four other ones. And, you know, Silicon Valley, they see uh, real estate, and they're uh, actually hiring people, hiring agents to work uh, for salary, okay, at companies. Uh, so if you want a salary job, hey, <laughs> might, might, might be something there for you. Uh, but if not, if you want to... Uh, you know, be an entrepreneur, have freedom, work for yourself. Um, we want you to know what is going on. And there is marketing being given to sellers, people who are likely to sell, um, and they're offering to buy their homes at below market value. And you might say, who's going to take that? You know, and I'm not talking about some rundown, trashy house that needs a complete makeover. We're talking about it has to pass inspection or they're not and they have to fix everything right or they won't buy it okay these programs uh it was only um about a year ago about one percent of people were actually you know going for it accepting you know the offer because it's substantially lower uh on average it's 70 or 80 percent um of the market value so basically it's like you know uh if it was a hundred thousand dollar home they're making you an offer of seventy thousand exactly and it has to be livable no major repairs exactly and if there are some repairs you have to do it before they close (laughs) so you might think nobody's going to take that who would take that um people are taking that yeah okay so you need to be aware of that now, I'm not saying to slam people like, uh, you know, to slam uh, the, the companies that are doing it. What we are saying is you need to, one, be aware of it because they're doing a good job of marketing. So you need to deepen your relationship. Um, and there is one other thing that we didn't mention, which is farming. That's people who uh, you haven't met. You can do farming or circle marketing to really get in deep with people you haven't met because these offers are being made and you need to roll out options for them. Yeah. If that's an option that they want to take, don't knock it. Have an option like that available for them. So somebody who isn't familiar with the iBuyer program or what that's called, what might that look like? Okay. Is that like somebody with the saying, I'll offer cash for your house? That's a great question. Is that that kind of thing? Yeah. So basically, someone comes, this is uh, an example of that. Um, You have a home, it is not for sale. But you may have went online and just looked to see what your home was worth. Hmm. Now I'm going to fish and see what you want. So I'll say, hey, I'll buy your house for cash. Fast. Fast. You You're like, oh, that. wow, okay. <laughs> uh, well, that sounds great. You know, you don't have to even fix it up or put it on the market. COVID, you right. know? Okay, great. Then someone comes to the house, a agent, right, that's on payroll, and 
they're going to give them an offer for their house. A lowball offer. A lot of people are taking it because it's cash. Mm, okay, I'll take it cash. They buy the house, they turn around and put it right back on the market for full price. Mm -hmm. And they make the difference. So that's that's what's going on with that. Okay. So if you see that, I buy houses fast for cash. It's a similar type setup. It's a similar type setup. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, we just want you to know what's going on. And these are not just, you know, uh, single investors. We're talking about large corporations doing this as well. So just know what's going on. You know, just stay on top of it. Keep reading and be able to offer that. If that's something that they want, have some investors in your back pocket that do want to buy houses for cash. Offer them that service. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? If they want to turn around and sell it, you get to be the listing agent. Hello? <laughs> so just, just serve your clients at the highest level. So we wanted to just kind of give you some lead sources. Uh, we kind of went into it a little bit, but dig deep into your relationships mm -hmm. as well as giving uh, your clients a great experience. Uh, that's going to help you get some referrals, okay? I hope that's helped you out to uh, get some leads, see what some lead sources are. We could go so much deeper and so much detail, and that's what some of the things that we are doing. We have some training coming up, um, you know, that we're going to offer to those who are interested in it. Uh, so stay tuned. Reach out to us if you're interested, and be sure to share this, and be sure to give us a like, a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, We'll see you on the next one. Is thanks, there... Yeah, thanks for tuning in, Kelly and Desmond. Yeah, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, were there any other questions or anything out there? Today? No, no. Not today. All right, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.